Hey guys, my name is Elliot. I'm a marketing communications manager here at Jotform, and I'll be one of your hosts today for our webinar on the newly released Jotform Report Builder tool. Uh, before we go any further, I'll turn it over to my co-host to introduce himself, Chad. Hey guys, I am Chad Reed. I am the Vice President of Marketing and Communications here at Jotform, and we're so excited that you can join us today for a webinar on how to use Jotform Report Builder. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, so I just wanna extend a warm welcome to everyone tuning in today as we show you the ins and outs of Jotform Report Builder. We're really excited to bring you guys this feature. It will help you analyze and share your submission data in new and insightful ways. And most importantly, it will save you time by creating a presentation ready report in really just a matter of minutes. Uh, with that said, let's get right into it. So today what we wanna do is properly introduce you to the Jotform Report Builder tool. We'll teach you about its capabilities and a few examples of its use cases before, of course, demonstrating their Report Builder in action. Then at the end, we'll finish up with a Q&A if anyone has questions. Uh, by the way, if you do want to ask a question, you'll see a button on your screen that says Q&A. So you can just click on that and then hit submit to send a question our way. So a little introduction to Jotform Report Builder. In a nutshell, this is a tool that transforms information submitted from online forms into professional looking reports. So it essentially creates a full presentation with visualizations of your submitted data and then lets you customize virtually everything about it just the way you need it. So you can change the type of graphs or charts you want, adjust the look and feel, all of that. Uh, you can spend as much time as you want customizing, or it's really pretty polished from the get-go, to be honest. So it totally depends what you need out of the report. Then once you're done, you'll be able to share the deck as a PDF or a link. And we want to make it clear from the beginning, this tool is free to all Jotform users. Even the basic complementary version of the Jotform platform has this capability, so it's really a tremendous value. But now a closer look at what the report builder can actually do. As I mentioned, the builder essentially takes a real time information that's been submitted to your online form and turns each data point into a graph or a chart for easy review and analysis. Every form entry will have its own graph, so your report will vary in length depending on how extensive your form is. As you'll soon see, you can adjust exactly how your data is visualized in each case. So whether that's a pie chart or a bar graph or a simple graph table, what have you, that's fully adjustable. As mentioned, you can also change the look and feel of the report aesthetically to match your company colors and branding, insert a logo, and so much more. Uh, it's worth mentioning too that the way Jotform Report Builder transforms submitted data in real time even makes it viable as a sort of live dashboard. So even if you're still getting submissions for your form, all you have to do is refresh the report and it will automatically update every chart with any new submission data that's been received. And then of course you can export and download a PDF version of the report for easy shareability. So really when you consider where Job from Report Builder might be useful, there are so many instances that come to mind. Basically, whenever you need to collect data from an online form, that's so often only the first step of the process because then you still need to communicate that data. And so we made Job from Report Builder to help with that next step. Once you get the submission data you need, the report builder lets you analyze and share it at the click of a button and all without leaving the website. Real world uses for this are really kind of limitless. Uh, just a few listed here, as you can see, include surveys, polls, feedback forms, voting forms, product request forms, questionnaires, the list goes on. You can now instantly visualize the response data for all these forms with the Jotform Report Builder, as we'll demonstrate. So to get there is really simple, and we'll show you in just a second, but an overview is to first find the form you want to create a report out of on your My Forms page, click on the drop down menu that says more at the very right of your screen, and then move down and click on open and report builder. And that's all there is to it. Now you can start customizing. And to take you through that process, I'm gonna pass it off to Chad to demonstrate. Chad, you can take it away. Thank you, Elliot. And now we're gonna show you how to get started with Jotform report builder. We're gonna start from the My Forms page we created this demo social media poll form. Just to see what kind of form we're dealing with, 
let's go ahead and take a look at the form builder. Nothing too fancy, but you can see this poll is filled with several single choice and multi-choice questions, as well as a rating question right here at the end. And this form has already been filled out um, about a dozen or so times, just to give you a sense of how the data is going to look in JotForm Report Builder. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks. In the top left, you have an option for a report builder. Let's go ahead and click on that. Here you can name your report. And then you have the option to either start a report from, from scratch um, or our extended or compact report options. We're gonna go ahead and show you the extended report. And just like that, you have a report that is ready to use and ready to present to your clients, to your colleagues, to your friends. Um, right out of the box, that's, that's the greatest thing about JotForm Report Builder is that it's ready to use. But there are a number of customization options. So if you're familiar with JotForm and building a form, uh, this basic elements panel on the left will look pretty familiar to you. This is where you can add text, a header, image, shapes, icon, or grid. And just to give you a sense of how some of this can look in action, we're going to add a text field to this slide. Change the orientation of the graph itself. So in this instance, this might be a good chance to elaborate or to explain some of the data that's being shown. So in this question, it asked if the respondent uses social media. 63% said yes, so maybe you say something to the effect of, in our poll, most of the respondents use social media. And it's just a great way to add context to data. Now, if we want to change the way the graph looks itself, we have a number of different options. By default, it has a pie chart, but there is a basic chart, a donut chart, a column chart, and a bar chart. You can choose whether or not to have a legend and then also whether to include a table at the bottom. And that has a number of orientation options as well. And if you wanted to play around with how the data looks or is presented within the chart, you have options for doing so. For instance, if you wanted to change the order or the colors, it's all very, very easy. I wanna to call to attention uh, something that, that pops up at the bottom here as well. So as you saw in the form originally, there was a uh, star rating question for how would you rate how happy social media makes you? Uh, not too many people say it uh, makes, makes them very happy in, uh, in the form when, when asked, but it develops, uh, it gives you a piece of data without having to actually do any math. So I didn't have to manually figure out that it was an average response rate of 2.78. Um, JotForm Report Builder developed that automatically. So if you aren't a math person, which I'm not, then you have a smart piece of, of data analysis to present automatically. If you're happy with your presentation or if you think that um, you wanna give it, kind of give it a go or just kind of see how it looks in preview mode, there's a preview option right in the top right. This can be downloaded with a single click as a PDF. Just a great clean format. And then you have a number of publish options as well. Actually, you know what, before I get to that, I want to show you how you can also add a new slide. So on um, the right, um, 
when you're editing your, your report. If you click on that icon, add a new page, and then anything that, that wasn't presented initially um, when it was automatically generated, you can go back to this basic elements. I think grid view is, is really fantastic. And this gives you all of the response data that you have. So if you wanna show your presentation or really holistic view of the, the data that came in or what you were working with, um, that's a great addition to, to any presentation. Okay, so back to publishing. There are a number of publishing options. Um, let's go ahead and first make this a public report. As a standalone link, you can send this, uh, but we also have embeddable options. So if you wanted to put this on your website, Elliot had mentioned that there's a live dashboard functionality. It would be great to have an embeddable live dashboard. Uh, then we also have WordPress and Medium links as well. This is really cool. I, I, I write on Medium uh, fairly frequently, so I was excited when we were able to build this. This is a great way that you can add uh, visuals to, to kind of help tell your stories a little bit. Um, really data-driven stories with great visuals are, are really compelling, really shareable, uh, and that's something that we're really excited to be able to share with everyone as well. And now I want to kick it back to Elliot. Um, that includes uh, what I want to show you as far as creating the report, but he's going to show you how a report can look if you take just a little bit of time to design it according to your brand. Thanks, Chad. Um, as Chad mentioned, this is an example of a report that I've spent a little bit more time with to more closely approximate our company's colors and branding. So as you can see, this is a bit more polished. Uh, it has the translucent background. It has colors and a logo and font that matches our own company branding. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's really quick, easy, and simple. I'm no design expert by any means, but uh, you know, even I could uh, turn this report into the way it looks now. It just took me 10 or 15 minutes or so. Um, so I'll show you an example of how I built a page. Um, and the first thing is to get your company colors. Most companies have a brand asset page like this one. Um, and on it, you should be able to find the hex code of your company's colors. So here is our hex code of one of our primary company colors. So all I have to do is copy that, open my slide, and then you get this background color option here where you can just click right into it copy and paste the color, and it's turned into the background color um, according with your company branding. Now, if we want to add a header with um, text with a different color, that's pretty easy to do. Just click and drag, as Chad mentioned, and then type something, example header. Now, if we want this header color to be the other company color, all we have to do is go back, copy and paste, just click straight into it and boom. So here we have our two company colors, sort of how um, I've arranged the rest of the branding of the template. And then if we wanna get a little bit more fancy, sort of like I have, we can include our company logo and even a background image. So for a logo, you come up here to basic elements and click on image and you can populate any image, logo, what have you, and then just drag it wherever you like. And then of course you can copy and paste in other pages. And then to get this um, translucent background image, uh, kind of spiff it up a little bit more, it's pretty easy. Image, um, you have to upload. Uh, I have it saved already here. Um, and the trick here, first need to make it large enough. Trick here is the translucency. So right now it's 100% uh, opacity. We're gonna take that down to um, five. So you can see it's just uh, mostly transparent in the background. And the trick to be able to then customize because it's the top of the page, now I can't actually click on the header or anything. You can go into the layers of the slide itself by clicking on the main slide settings. And these are the layers. So I'm gonna take this image and slide it all the way to the bottom. 
And then suddenly I can manipulate the slide again and it's effectively just a background. Um, so just like that, that's an example of how you can take uh, your own report and brand it according to your company style guide, just like this. And again, that took me maybe just a couple minutes. You can do the exact same thing, even with slides that have data on them. And it's just a few minutes investment to really make it into a spiffy, polished looking final product. Um, and that's just a brief overview of how you can aesthetically tweak your form to match your company colors. Um, with that, I will kick it back over to Chad to take us home and to kick off Q&A. Thank you, Elliot. So that concludes the demo portion of the webinar, and we sure hope that you enjoyed seeing JotForm Report Builder in action. Um, and at this point, we would love to open it up for questions if you had any in our Q&A section.